Across the Philippines, thousands marched on Monday, July 27th in protest against the administration of President Rodrigo Duterte and the recently passed anti-terror law. The protest came hours before Duterte's State of Nation speech. The protests were organized by various social movements representing the causes of women, farmers, workers, and students, along with religious groups and academics. The protests were held despite the preemptive arrests by authorities across the country. According to CNN Philippines, at least 34 people suspected of participating in the protests were arrested early in the day before the protests. Rappler reported that in the Calabarzon administrative region alone, 64 people were arrested on their way to join a demonstration. In the capital city, Manila, hundreds marched on the campus of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Participants marched by foot with placards and slogans saying Aust Duterte and were followed by a motorcade demonstration. Similar large rallies were held across the country. Protesters' key demands are the ouster of Duterte and the repeal of the controversial anti-terror law. Sabi ni President Duterte, kailangan ng terror law para daw sa mga terorista ang katulad ng Abu Sayyaf. Maraming hindi naniniwala na kailangan ng batas para sa mga terorista dahil sa Pilipinas, sa ilalim ni Duterte, drug suspect ka lang, patay ka na. Mano pa kaya kung terrorist suspect ka? Protesters also condemned political assassinations and the government's mismanagement of the COVID-19 pandemic. In his State of the Nation address, Duterte very noticeably avoided speaking about the pandemic and the measures taken by the government. This was widely criticized by opposition leaders and activists alike. Yeah,